you got a chance to ask you before the Buckus uh, being one of the top ten linebackers. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, you know, I pre previously went to high school. You know, it was a great experience meeting Dick Buckus. Uh, man, just to just to be able to meet him and get to talk to him about how he how he played back in the day, how the game has changed. I mean, I think that was the best part about it. Just talking to one of the greatest linebackers in NFL history. Hey, did your teammates? Uh, you have uh, three really good linebackers on this team. Did you get any? Uh, they joke with you a little bit about it, and you know, just being top five in the top ten in the country, but you know, having those <laughs> teammates that are also really good. Yeah, I think uh, jo me, Joshua, and Darren. We always talk about how some guys always report and talk about how am I even the best linebacker on my team? Uh, you know, people say what they want to say, but we're all out there working together. How well do you think you're playing? How well do I think I'm playing? Uh, <laughs> you look more comfortable. Do you feel more comfortable? Yeah, I wouldn't say comfortable, but I would say confident. You know, I'm out there uh, making calls on the field, just calling things out as I see it. Last year I was more timid on the field, but I think this year I'm, I'm very confident in what I'm saying and I'm saying, saying it loud. Rick, when y'all got the running game thing figured out last week uh, and then all of a sudden hit y'all with some big passes in the fourth quarter, what, what are you guys talking about since the game? Uh, uh, maybe some, was there a little bit of a letdown there, you think, in the fourth quarter? Just what, what's, your, uh, what's your diagnosis? You know, uh, we, we still have to run pretty good. We built a wall. I mean, that was our game plan for the week and just lock up on the edges. But, uh, you know, they got some passes in last last week. While he was pressured, he threw some uh, great balls mm -hmm. right on the money. Mm -hmm. And I think just we have to tighten up at the end of the game. But uh, we finished great. Did, did, did you come out of that game, though, feeling good about your run defense? Obviously, they're going against a pretty good run running attack this coming week. You know, with Illinois, they had over 300 yards rushing against Purdue. but. What 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 did y'all shore up more than anything else? You think in that in the last couple of weeks? You know, uh, we just made it an emphasis to build a wall. You know, I think we fell off a little bit against Penn State. Well, not fell off, but just gave us some pretty big runs against Penn State. But I think this this game, this last recent game, that uh, we attacked the line of scrimmage better. Uh, we were confident in what we were doing, and and we made plays in space. Urban said that he feels like you guys feel the weight of the expectations for this team this season. Is that an accurate assessment? Uh, we feel the weight. Uh, you know, is, it heavy? Every, is, is there a tightness about it? No, nah, I mean, we're still a loose team, very loose team. We know we got to go out there and perform, got to have fun with it. Because if you're not out there having fun, then you're all tensed up and you can't play play like you would be playing on a regular basis. But, uh, you know, I, think, I don't feel like we're all tensed up. I feel like we're a very loose team. And uh, we have fun, but we always lock in when it's time to lock in and uh, do our do our job. What was your reaction, uh, you, you personally maybe, and uh, maybe the team, uh, to seeing y'all were number three in the first uh, college football playoff rankings last week? And of course, you, yesterday y'all dropped a number two for the first time in the Associated Press poll to a team. I think they pronounce it Clemson. No, <laughs> but I mean, what would, did, do you feel like y'all have some points to prove still, or what, what's just the reaction? Uh, you, you know, we really didn't really didn't care about the rankings uh, as long as we were in the top four. It's funny that you say that, talk about Clemson. I, mean, yep. I was I was talking to Deshaun Watson while we were watching it, the Clemson quarterback. You know, we were good friends during recruitment and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, we were just talking and we were just happy for each other, happy to see each other uh, progressing and our team's getting better or whatnot. And hopefully we can meet up one day in the playoffs. Wait, you said you were talking to him while, while they were announcing that thing last Tuesday night. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. On the telephone? Yeah. 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 What, 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 what does he think is going really well with them right now? Right you know, uh, like just like us, when your uh, when your team has momentum, uh, you don't feel like you can lose to anybody. But you, you don't fear anybody. But you always prepare uh, hard for everybody. Do you so, guys talk about? Go. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Great one. What's your relationship oh. like? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like, go ahead. What go ahead. was it about your uh, you know bond with him during your recruitment that made you want to stay in touch with him? I know Ohio State was recruiting both of you guys. Why? Were you guys able to connect and, and to the point where you guys are both in the top four of the playoff and talking during the uh, the announcement? You know, me and Deshaun, we we uh, I think during my recruitment, that was one of the guys that I felt like I wanted to play with. I mean, we ended up taking different paths, but while he while he ended up at Clemson and he committed early, he was pressing me hard to come to Clemson. But uh, you know, I, I took that different path. But he he was always a cool guy, always down to earth. Uh, even though he wanted me to come to Clemson, he always was in for my best interest. And the head coaches, at, the head coach at Clemson too, Coach Sweeney, they always wanted my best interest. And even when I decided to come to Ohio State, they still called me afterwards and.
told me congratulations and whatnot. And we won the national championship. Those were some of the first guys I talked to after the game. Double called you after the national championship? Yeah, me and him talked after the national championship. Uh, just tell me congratulations and Coach Jeff Scott, the wide receivers coach, who was my recruiter at the time. I know Ohio State recruited Deshaun very hard, went after him really hard. I know, yeah. as you said, he committed to Clemson early. Did he say Ohio State was his second choice? Or did he ever talk about that, his, his feelings towards Ohio State? Uh, he said he liked it or whatnot, but I don't know if they were his second choice. But, uh, yeah, I was once I committed here, we knew that we were taking a different path, so we just told each other to work hard at wherever we go. And when you guys do talk, do you say, I hope we play each other in the playoff? <laughs> do you guys talk about that specifically or just? Nah, just we, just, we just always see, say uh, see you at the top or whatnot. You know, of course, the top is a national championship on the playoff. <laughs> was it, was it, uh, I know that you and Curtis Brandt FaceTime. Were you FaceTiming or were you texting or were you on the phone? Nah, we were just texting. Yeah. And it was the purple uniforms. That's why you went the other direction? <laughs> nah. <laughs> what do you think this defense is right now? Obviously, it seems like you shore up certain things and then other things pop up. Um, what do you think you guys are as defense? Uh, you know, we're, we're steadily getting better every week. You know, I think that's what, that was one of our things at the beginning of the season to progress every week and be playing your best football at the end of the season. And I think we're working towards playing our best football at the end of the season. Like our DBs are some of the best in the nation. Von Bell making plays all over the field. Uh, Gary on, Eli, and Tyvis. And even when the Nickel Packers come in, Damon Webb, you know, they do a great job. And then our front, our front four guys always have pressure on the quarterback. And we're all working together to build one cohesive unit that's uh, playing at the top level. A couple of their big plays, the one to KJ May along the sideline, and the 57 yards, whatever, it looked like it just kind of almost a fluky play. Do you think that their big plays were more fluky, or was there something wrong that you guys did? No, I wouldn't say any play is fluky, man. Uh, the, the guy just made a great play. The quarterback uh, made a good throw, and uh, the offense just made the play that the defense didn't make. Rick Rose, you watch video. What is Joey Bosa getting done? That maybe he wasn't even getting done a year ago as uh, as, an, a dis as Urban Meyer calls him a disruptive force. He's one of the, maybe the best disruptive force he's ever been around as far as a defensive lineman is concerned. What what is he bringing to the fore? You know, uh, Joey is like you just said a disruptive player. Um, every play you can count on him to give him is uh, give him 110 percent. Uh, probably the play, one of the best players I ever played with, or the best player I ever played with. But uh, you know that he's going to get his job done, and you don't really have to worry about him on the, on the down. Yeah, and when you say get his job done, is he just always pushing the pile? Is he always shooting the gap? I mean, what what is it that he just that just stands out to you besides the effort, just technically what he does? You know, even when they try to uh, double team him or something like that, he's still making plays. I think that's the biggest thing in my eyes. You know, even though they try to slide the protection towards him, he's always still making plays or. Something like that. Yeah. How is his play compared this year to last year? How is his play compared to this year to last year? Joey's. You know, uh, I mean, he had he hasn't had the statistical year that he had last year. I, I don't think, but uh, I think he's more disruptive this year. Uh, very strong, a stronger football player, uh, smarter football player. He knows what guys are trying to do to him, and he uh, spends countless hours in the meeting room, just taking his time to learn what. What the offense was trying to do to him, so when he get in the game, he can react and uh, play hard. Rick, well, Illinois level. has oh. had had a couple 100-yard rushers last week against Purdue. Just uh, do you expect them to try and try and run the football against Ohio State this week with uh, Ferguson and uh, the other guy Vaughn? Yeah, everybody is going to try to establish their run game. Uh, I mean, that's that's what offenses try to do to build upon it and open up other facets of their offense. I think if they can open up their uh, running game, then it just builds on the play action pass. And then even, even in the past game, but uh, yeah, this team is going to try to establish the run, but it's up to us to stop that. Taekwon's having a breakout season for you guys. Leads the team in sacks, plays well against the run. It seems like as well. What what have you seen out of Taekwon? What's really been uh, enabled him to do that, Taekwon? You know, Coach Johnson does a great job with the D linemen, uh, making the guys wreak havoc so the, so the linebackers can play out them. And uh, at the end of the day, if he gets in, goes in there and make the play, then. And that's just a play that the linebackers don't have to worry about. So <laughs> that's it. You have, uh, two, uh, you have two marquee games that have been sitting there at the end of the year. Uh, but before you get to those, you got this one. How And you guys have done a good job of keeping the eye on the target every week. How difficult is that uh, this week against Illinois? Or is, is it difficult at all to, to make, make sure you take it one at a time and are not thinking about a couple of big games at the end? No, I think. 
with Coach Myers' mentality and the and our whole coaching staff mentality and even the team's mentality, man, it's one game at a time. We really, we really don't worry about what's down the road or what's two weeks from now. We have to worry about what's right now and uh, what's coming at this time because if we worry about what's coming in two weeks from now, we're not focused on what's coming up uh, right now and we won't be mentally or physically ready for the game. Rick, when you watch teams on film this year, how different are they in person than what you see when you do video? Because I keep hearing that they try harder when they play you and that they'll give you wrinkles that they've saved for you because they're taking a, a shot at number one. How different are teams on, when you scout them than when you see them on Saturday? You know, every team every team is going to give us their best shot, but uh, after the first couple plays, they have to go back to their base offense and try to uh, – figure out what they can do against us and what they can't do against us. So, yeah, everybody's going to try to give us uh, two or three plays that they never ran before. But uh, if we play base defense and do what we got to do, we should be all right.